despite me working uh, as a network engineer, uh, IT engineer, um, manager, etc., you'll see that the uh, connections here and the amount of cabling um, lying around is pretty terrible. But here's my main um, fiber router. This is from EE. This is one of their um, Brightbox 2 routers. Uh, it doesn't do VPN uh, at all. Uh, so this connects to uh, fiber to the cabinet. So that little gray cable on the edge, the first gray cable, that's uh, coming in from the street. So that's the copper cable, um, the traditional old school copper cable coming in um, from the white socket, the BT white socket. And then we have an array of ethernet cables. Some of these go to, um, one goes to a NAS box, another one goes to a home uh, alarm system. Uh, one goes to uh, an old PC that I'm still keeping going and the other one I will show you where that goes in a moment. Right so one of the uh, Ethernet cables from that router goes into here this Netgear router that I bought off eBay and around the back of here. Right so ignore the colours because uh, one of the cables um, I had to um, uh, cut halfway through but uh, the internet there that goes all the way back to that EE bright back bright box router and then this goes in to a device which I want on the VPN so basically this is your internet connection to the outside world in this case my um, internal LAN network to the EE Brightbox router and this is my other internal network which is uh, on Ethernet and also this box is pumping out a Wi-Fi hotspot which I can connect to uh, here we are outside and basically the two routers are connected from the outside of the house with um, some Cat6 Ethernet cable. Now I appreciate I've done this all out of sequence but here is where it all starts. So uh, this is the BT Open Reach. So you've got the main normal telephone socket here for vo voice calls and then this is that grey cable that I mentioned at the very start of this video, which is where the data comes in. So that's your main BT OpenReach socket.